Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you some hidden drugstore gems slash Amazon. There's a bunch of amazing stuff in this video, including my new favorite Amazon brushes. I bought their best-selling brushes several years ago. I have a video on it, and I've been trying to find another set of brushes that I like better, that are really high quality, but a really good price, and I think I found them. So that will be in this video, as well as just some other random stuff that I feel like no one talks about or is not talked about nearly enough. All right, this first part of the video is sponsored by Eva NYC, and I'm super excited about it because you guys know I've loved their 10 in one primer forever. It was in my best of 2021 non-makeup products. And when they sent me this new shampoo and conditioner to test out, I tested it out. I was loving it. Actually, one of my friends um, that got highlights at the same time as me was like, why do my highlights look so much more brassy than yours? We got them at the same time. Why are yours staying more on that ashy side and mine have turned orange? I was like, you have to try this shampoo and conditioner. I was raving about it. And then literally the next day, Eva NYC emailed me about this collaboration and I was like, this is meant to be. It was one of those like, are you listening to me moments? Of like, is my phone hacked? I have not seen anyone talk about these. I feel like there are the go-to brands for shampoo and conditioner, especially blue shampoo and conditioner. And then this has just flown under the radar. And if you hear hammering or drilling, we are getting our basement finished right now, which is quite the process for the next several months. If you hear that in the background of my videos, that's what it is. Without further ado, the shampoo and conditioner is, this is what it looks like. These bottles are like metal. They feel really luxurious. And these are blue. Like when I say blue, they come out. I don't know if you guys can see a little bit at the tip here. Um, both of these are almost halfway gone, half full, half gone. I should say half full. I use these once a week and I use it, you guys know I only wash my hair a couple times a week. So before I go in with this, I wanna make sure I get all of the oil and buildup out of my hair so that the ingredients that are gonna help my brassy highlights are really gonna be able to adhere to my hair. So I go in with my clarifying shampoo and then I'll go in with this Brass to Sass shampoo followed by the conditioner. I do this once a week and there is such a big difference. I made a TikTok about it, so if you're interested in seeing the before and after, I will link that down below. This has spirulina, blue tansy, juniper berry, cruelty free, vegan, and GMO free. And these are actually on sale at Target right now from I believe it's the 17th through the 30th of April. Use the code EVA25 at checkout at Target and you'll get 25% off of these. That code is not affiliated with me, it's just a coupon code you can use at Target. So if you are interested in trying these, now's the time. Highly, highly recommend them. If you have brunette hair with highlights that tend to get brassy, this makes such a huge difference. You see a difference in one wash, but I would say within three to four washes, you're like, okay, this is seriously changing the color of my hair. 10 out of 10, recommend. All right, next up is a new skin tint that I have been loving. Last time I checked, it was on sale on Ulta's website. At least some of the shades were, so I wanted to go ahead and talk about it. It's a kind of foundation alternative that I've been really enjoying. It's this Pixi H2O Skin Tint. And the way they describe it is that it's a tinted face gel. And that's what it feels like. It feels like a super, super thin gel. It feels like nothing on your skin. It's pretty sheer if you apply it with your fingers, but if you apply it with a brush or a sponge, you can build up the coverage as much as you want. But this is a really great kind of summer go-to. I feel like in the summertime, I do not want something thick because if I go in with my moisturizer, then my SPF, then my makeup, then I'm sweating on top of that, I feel like I have layers on my skin and all I wanna do is wash my face like two hours into wearing makeup. And that is not how I feel with this. You really cannot even feel that it's on your skin. I got the shade tan, which will be kind of my summer color. This is what it looks like swatched. It's a good match for me right now because I'm self-tanned, but it is a deeper color. If you're usually a shade match for me, I would go a little bit lighter than this unless you're also gonna self-tan or gonna use this as your summer shade. It does oxidize just a little bit, so it will get a little bit darker than this, but I wish you could feel just how thin and like nothingness this feels. But you can see as I'm blending it out, I am getting coverage. It's sheer, it's natural, and it will dry down to a, I would say a natural matte, semi-matte natural matte to natural finish. So this is gonna be oily skin friendly. I've just been loving how this feels on my skin and I feel like I don't see anyone talking about it. Maybe it's just the people that I follow aren't talking about it, but I never see anyone raving about this and it deserves to be raved about. All right, next up is a lip gloss that I've had in my collection for years. And with all of the like sparkly new stuff, people just kind of forget about the old classics. And this is an old classic. This is the Revlon Super Lustrous lip gloss in the shade Rosy Future. It's what I'm wearing right now. It reminds me so much of the Fenty lip gloss, the original Fenty lip gloss. 
because it's kind of got this like rosy brown color with a little bit of a golden sheen to it. it has a nice big doe foot applicator. I'll apply a little bit more even though I have quite a bit on already just so you can see it in action. But it just makes your lips look so plump and this color, the golden iridescence is so pretty with a little bit of a tan and bronzy skin. I feel like it just complements it really well. But this formula and particularly this shade is very underrated and very forgotten about, I feel like. So let's remember it. All right, next up is a blush formula that is one of the most unique blush formulas I've ever tried from a brand that I don't have a ton of stuff from. I wanna explore this brand a little bit more. So let me know in the comments what other products from this brand you recommend. It's this blush by the brand JCat Beauty. This is in the shade 2D Fluffy. <laughs> and it's this really bright pink shade, which I think is really fun. And the formula on this is so hard to describe unless you're touching it. Let me show you this color first of all. It's a super vibrant color, kind of a semi-matte finish with a little bit of a sheen to it. It feels similar to, I don't know if you guys saw my last video where I talked about new drugstore releases and I talked about this new Flower Beauty Chrome eyeshadow. It feels somewhat similar to that where it's almost like a cross between a cream and a powder. This feels a little bit more on the creamy side. Feels like a cream blush, but then it looks like a powder blush once you apply it to the skin with like just an effortless sheen. I don't have them, so I can't speak to it, but I've heard a lot of people comparing these to the MAC, what are they called? MAC Glow Play blushes, something like that, where it's like a creamy powder. So if that's been intriguing you, I would say try this one because it sounds like a very similar concept. I'll apply just a touch of this so you can see this color in action. I'm just gonna put some on, this is one of the Eco Tools brushes that I really love but I'm just putting a really small amount on there because it is such a vibrant color. You see how natural that looks, even though like when you swatch it, when you look at it, it looks scary. On the actual cheeks, it looks really beautiful and just healthy. If you want a kind of a shock factor, you like a lot of blush applied all at once, you could go in with a denser brush. This is a really loosely packed brush and that'll pack on pigment a lot faster. I love this, I think it's incredibly unique. All right, next up are the Amazon brushes I promised you. I saw a TikTok about these and I was like, I have got to try them. I ordered them and I was blown away. Let me look up the price details so you can see how great of a deal this is. Okay, so there's different amounts of brushes you can get. All the way down from three pieces to 21 pieces. I, I got the 21 piece set. So I got 21 brushes and I paid $35. So what is that per brush? $1.60 per brush. And these are called Jessup brushes. They don't look like cheapy Amazon brushes. I would put this in a professional makeup kit. I would put this in my kit as a makeup artist because these look extremely professional. You've got this really, really big powder brush. I love this for like an all over bronze or to quickly powder the whole face. It feels so soft, like so soft. This is one of the softest brushes in this whole collection. I have some brushes in here that I love, and then I have some that are like, mm, they're okay. So I wouldn't wanna pay more than what I paid because I didn't love all of them equally. So this powder brush is a huge win. The foundation brush, I was pleasantly surprised by. I bought it and I saw the brush and I was like, mm, I'm probably not gonna like that because it's not the typical foundation brush that I use, but it applies my foundation beautifully. This is the MUL02. So it's like this, paintbrush with a little bit of a curve to it. It's incredibly soft, super densely packed. You just put your foundation on there and you kind of just apply it like a paintbrush. And I don't typically like that type of foundation brush style, which is why I'm shocked that I love this so much, but, but it really is so, so good. I would say one of the duds in the collection is this one. This is the MUL05. I use it as a concealer brush. You could also use it as like a cream contour brush. You're gonna wanna use this with creams because it's very densely packed. If you try and use this with a powder, it's gonna pack on too much product. I wanted it to be like my Real Techniques contour brush. That's like my favorite brush for concealer ever. But unfortunately, it was not. So one of the duds for sure. However, this MUL03 is like that brush, but bigger and softer and less dense. They're hammering like crazy downstairs. I hope you guys can't hear that. But I love this for blush, for bronzer, for setting underneath the eyes, for setting everywhere. This is one of those, it can do it all brushes. L zero. This is the MUL 04. This is a great 
cream blush brush. I love this with like my e.l.f. putty blushes and bronzers, but for powder, a little bit too dense. It comes with a bunch of eyeshadow blending brushes. I love all of these. Remind me of like my Wet n Wild, my e.l.f. ones, my BH Cosmetics ones. Really good quality. Got these kind of like mid-size brushes. This reminds me of the Real Technique setting brush. This is good for highlighter. And this one is another good highlighter brush. You can use these both for setting under the eyes for multiple purposes, but I primarily use them for highlighters the denser one for more of an intense highlight, and the looser one for a softer highlight. This one does come with a pencil brush, which I love. That's the only thing from that BH Cosmetics brush set that I love so much that it didn't come with that I feel like I need in a makeup collection is this as a pencil brush. This one comes with one and it's great. Got an angled either eyeliner or eyebrow brush. I haven't reached for this a whole lot. I don't really use brushes like that very often. But then I do like this one. This is the MUL 18. And the way that I've been using this is I'll put like a little bit of a pencil eyeliner and then I'll just take this, what I did today, very softly and just kind of pull it up a little bit like this. And it just kind of gives you that illusion of a winged liner look without committing to a winged liner. And this is the perfect size and density to do that with. And then the MUL 16 is one of those like concealer brushes. I feel like it comes in every collection and it's just not my favorite. Like I said, there's a lot of brushes that come with this. That's not all of them, but you get the idea that the look, the softness, the pros and cons. I'm always on the hunt for really good, affordable brushes because your makeup is only as good as the tools you use to apply it. So definitely recommend that. All right, next up, we have a skincare product that I have fallen in love with. I saw it on Abby Young's page and outside of her, I haven't seen really anyone talking about it. And it's this CeraVe healing ointment. I've been kind of getting into slugging. If you're not familiar with what that is, it's basically taking an occlusive product like this one or like a Vaseline and putting it on your face or wherever you want to really lock in moisture and sleeping with it. So you can do really, really intense slugging. Like I've seen people just cover their whole faces with a CeraVe or with Vaseline, but I just take a really small amount. I'm talking like maybe this much, like less than a pea size. And I just kind of rub it in my fingers and apply all around my eye area when I sleep. I've tried several different products to use for this purpose, but they either stung my eyes or I started getting like a little bit of milia so how you say it? The tiny little bumps around my eyes. And this is the only one that's really worked for me. I feel like CeraVe in general gets a lot of hype, but this particular product is one of the best CeraVe products that I've ever tried. I also put this on my elbows or wherever else I get really chapped skin. Like I'll put my lotion on after the shower and then I'll put this over top of anywhere. I really need that moisture to stay. So it's essentially a skin protectant. I know the whole slugging thing is very controversial, but I feel like I see a difference in my eye area with using that and it's one of the most long-standing tried and true beauty secrets definitely worth a try if you are interested and then the last one is one that i mentioned in my last video but i love it so much i had to include it into this video as well this is the flower beauty heat wave luminous bronzer i love this it comes in a cool tone which i also have and this one this is the shade Sunswept. I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little bit more with one of these brushes so you can see them both in action this is the mul03 Again, this is the shade Sunswept. And these remind me of like an hourglass bronzer. The color is just so perfect, especially if you have tanner skin. Really shows up, it lasts all day. Definitely give this a try if you like that kind of hourglass bronzer effect. However, if you have really fair skin, both of these shades might be a little bit too deep for you. Really good powder bronzers are hard to find. I've been recommending the same ones for over a year, maybe a couple of years now. And this has quickly climbed to the top of my favorite bronzers list. That is everything. Those are all of the underrated kind of secret products that I have been loving so much that I feel like deserve way more hype, but maybe we can just keep them our little secret here on this channel. Let me know if you guys try any of these products. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe while you're here and I will see you guys in my next video.